them, but I'll wait. But still. I don't want to do that. I'll get in trouble. Jetstar, are you there? Alright, I'm just going to say Jetstar is using the original Ryback attire. By the way, guys, I'm back on Twitch. Sorry if, um... Sorry if it went out for a moment there. Let me, uh, just let me know, guys. If it's back on in a couple seconds here. Or somebody can let me know in the Twitch stream. I don't care. Thanks, you my knight. Do you mean knight? I think he means knight. No, not that knight. Knight. Oh, jeez. What's up? Is there a difference? Can I can I not change that, please? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I just Is the broadcast back on? He's using modern. No. <laughs> That was, that was Kano too, but, oh, all right, now it's time to get hot in here, U.S. title match. Well, normally he puts the, why does he have a default title entrance? Normally Kano would have the title on his shoulder. Oh, well, anyway, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. This match is for the EIF United States Championship. Introducing first, on his way to the ring, from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, he is the current reigning and defending EIF United States Champion, representing the Big Red Machine, Kane. This is the Beatdown. Beat down that US title looks really cool in red. No beat down getting set. Two championships have changed hands. Will a third. Beat down calls it the Canadian Championship, so Jetstar looking to bring it back home to old glory. And now, introducing his opponent, the challenger, making his way to the ring, representing Ryback. This is Jetstar. So Jetstar getting an opportunity at a championship for the first time in a while for him. Can he capitalize? Midnight Mayfire failed to win his first EIF championship. Now it's Jetstar's turn. Right back and Kane. I like this matchup. There it is. You guys can see third of five championships on the line tonight. The United States title. Kane and Ryback, two more, more of the heavyweight style class. By the way, be down, Jetstar. Make sure you guys both have your uh, Twitch streams closed to prevent any connection issues. And I'll be making the match online. I'll be turning DLC off since you guys are both using uh, in-game non-DLC character versions of your respective characters. And this match is now normal rules instead of extreme rules. Because Beatdown and Merciless was going to be Extreme Rules, but that's right. No Weapon Knight. I love it. Believe me, victory votes, there's going to be a lot of stipulations. Going to be a lot of, <laughs> going to be a lot of stipulations of the victory votes. I'm sure the viewers will vote on to make things about as brutal as possible. 
So we get set to send the invites. It's our final mid-card match of the night. Coming up after this, it's our doubleheader main events. All right, did you guys get the invite? Did I send them? All right, I did. I wasn't sure if I did or not, to be honest with you. All right. So again, Ryback and Kane. Yeah, have you got... Good now, but... Uh... I'm trying to think here. If you guys... Have you guys fought one-on-one -on -one against each other before? All right, so there's about the halfway point. This still isn't taking too bad, though. Not near as bad as, uh, what was it, Vinny and uh, Midnight Mayfire, although it was a good match. Every match tonight's been pretty entertaining so far, so hopefully this will disappoint. And, of course, we have two main events, so it should be interesting. Yes, Vinny's finishers are the Go to Sleep and the AA. Hey, Brett Matson, you're following us. Thanks. Thanks, Brett. I don't think so. I'll double check. It Based on my, like, inbox, on my mail, I should have had over 100. But the problem is not everybody, uh, what a lot of people do is they, like, unfollow you, and then they see you stream again, and then they decide to follow you, and then they'll unfollow you, and, you know, either way, that's fine. Oh, wow. Yeah, 99 followers with 919 views. That's that's. I don't want to say that's disappointing because it's not, but that's just like an ah oh man number. <laughs> Can we get one more tonight? Let's find out. Can we get one more that isn't you know unfollowing and then following again? Can we get 100 total? Stay up to date with that. <laughs> yeah, you could have with all the ones you've made. I didn't get anything saying you were following us, just trolling. All right, back up, beat down. All right, and ding, ding, ding. So we are underway. United States Championship on the line and beat down the champion with the first move. Beat down was originally prepared for Merciless. They were going to go to war with what would have been their third consecutive one-on-one -on -one against each other in the superstardom realm. And I'm, sh I'm wondering if Beatdown's maybe a little more reluctant now that he's playing Jetstar, although Jet has quite the skill set as well. Beatdown was 0-2 against Mer Merciless in their two previous bouts. And now a leg drop dropped down from the Beatdown. Stomp onto the chest, Jetstar avoids that running. DDT, and the champ is in control early on. As I said, Jetstar was in a really close match with the U.S. title back at WrestleMania 8. In a scramble match, a lot of people felt like he definitely had the go-to win but Jet choking in his WrestleMania debut. And now he's had a few months to kind of learn the ropes here of EIF. And he's been sort of in limbo in no man's land, but Jet was pretty impressive, had a good outing on the tour and uh, the weeks prior. So Jet is ready for the stage, running DDT again for beatdown. This is Jet's first one-on-one, -on -one, I believe, for a championship. I might be able to stand corrected on that. Russian leg sweep connects for the beatdown. 
I am right, being told by officials. So, Jet now, and now finally Jet has an opportunity. Tossing beat down over into the corner. And of course, these are two, a lot of a different style too because we were originally gonna see Kane and Neville, now Kane and Ryback, so two big powerhouses, two super heavies. And now, oh, beat down. Gets dropped and tossed down and down again and one more for good luck. Challenger Jetstar takes control. And beat down misses that big boot. Headlock locked in for Jetstar. Single leg takedown, and now he'll work on the legs of the U.S. champ. Beatdown making his first defense as United States champion since beating Pepsi Killer Ford about two weeks ago. Back body drop connects to Jetstar. Ground grapple reversal. This is Beatdown's first championship in EIF as well, I might add. Jetstar with one taunt. Jet looking to get that U.S. title to be his first belt as well. And beat down. Oh, running, running right into an elbow, I might add. Beat down with a reversal. Again, this is our final match before the doubleheader main events. Both world championships on the line, and beat down gets reversed again. It's a Russian leg sweep now for Jetstar. Jetstar stomp on the ribs. Beat down avoids that. Jet. Oh! And Jet just running strike, just absolutely throwing his presence at beat down and running DDT again for beat down. It was a couple minutes since he last done it, but that was mainly because Jetstar had the brood of the offense for a while there. Beat down off the rope, stops himself. U.S. champion, another backbreaker connects. Jet feeling it. Beat down, picks him up from behind. Waist lock, Jet reverses. Jet, waist lock, beat down reverses. And beat down now close to a signature, but Jet's going to keep doing this. He says, I got all night. And beat down might get a sticky off of this. He does. Beat down the form of the back goes for the axe handle. And Jet gets reversed yet again. Beat down looking to be the first champion to retain tonight. He's going to head to the top row, but I don't know if that was a wise move. Jet started with comeback. Big boot. Oh my God, Jet thinking about going up top. Wait a minute, no, beat down from the top row. Signature clothesline connect. Nobody does that. <laughs> beat down from the top rope. And oh, wait a minute, this could be it. Beat down could be looking to end the match. And Jet, Jet's grabbed by the throat. Choke slam all the way to hell. Goes Jetstar. But beat down's got to get him over. Shoulders down. One, two. Beat down retains. Jetstar was making a comeback there, but. I mean, literally, I should say a comeback, and then beat down ended up getting the reversal opportunity favors the champion. He's the first champion to walk in and walk out with the title here tonight at Collision Course. Will there be more? Find out. Our main events are heading your way next. Good match, guys. And thanks for showing up, Jetstar. I appreciate you taking the replacement. Double check.
Yeah, we have enough. We have all room. We have all the room. I just checked. So, all right, guys. We are back live here on the EIF network here at Collision Course, and it is time for our main events to begin, starting out with the EIF Undisputed World Championship, guys. Hostile Exile getting set to defend against uh, somebody who has made a long ways, a long ways to his opportunity tonight. Greedy has went 400 matches, has never won the Undisputed World Championship. Earlier this year, he claimed the Undisputed Superstar two times, but he has an opportunity now, his first ever one-on-one -on -one for the Undisputed World Championship. We're going to see if he can bring his dream to fruition. Are we having stream issues? Can anybody else not see? All right. 